Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Timu haul. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitive price products in multiple categories. Timu also offers perks such as site-wide saving sales of up to 70% off their items, free shipping, they also have a price protection policy. If the price drops on something you've ordered within the last 30 days, you can request a partial refund. Don't forget to download the Timu app using my link. It is in the description box. If you wanna shop these selected items that you see today in my video, don't forget to use my unique code to get you more perks. And all this information will also be down below in my description box so let's get into the haul so today i'm going to be reviewing clothes accessories budget and stationary products business products some home products all the goodness. Everything that you see in today's video, there is a direct link to that product in my description box if you're interested. So I am going to start with the clothes because I have never ordered clothes from Timu. So this is gonna be my first time trying it on with you guys as well as giving you my first real impression of how it fits, how it feels. So I'm excited. Okay, so the first outfit that I got is the color block stripe print two piece. It's kind of like a jogging suit. Th these are the pants. And this is the shirt. I did get them in two colors. So that was the light pink. This is the hot pink. Okay, so for the color block two piece set, I actually really like the way that these fit. Um, I ordered a size medium from Timu for all of my clothes. So I was very interested to see how the sizing worked out. And these are pretty much a perfect fit for me. That was actually really shocking. The quality of the piece, it doesn't feel high quality, but it doesn't feel super cheap. It's kind of in between, if you know what I mean. These outfits, I would definitely keep. I purchased these outfits specifically because I wanted to have a couple of more outfits to wear during my traveling. If you are a follower of mine, you know you know your girl has been traveling lately, so I need some more airport outfits, and I felt like these would be perfect for those occasions. The next outfit that I purchased was the cozy pajamas set there are the bottoms here is the top and this is the love and heart printed set as you can see the top is short sleeve and the pants have an elastic waist this set is five dollars and nine cents so for this pajama set i actually really like the way that it fits so once again i purchased a medium in this set and it is pretty true to fit size however they say that it fits the material on the other hand it was giving that they were trying to go like a silk pajama set route it, it didn't quite meet up to that standard but i see the vision i know i see what they were trying to do with this set it's not quite giving the silk that i think they were trying to achieve but again it fits pretty perfectly it's a true medium fit for my size i love the color of the pajamas i love the hearts and love prints on the pajamas and I will be wearing them. So my next outfit is another two piece set and this is the faith letter print. So it says the word faith. I absolutely love this print and how the word faith is written. This is the top and these are the bottom pants. So what I like about this outfit is of course the design of it, it's beautiful. I can honestly say Timu has some pretty dope designs on their outfits no complaints there this outfit actually did not fit me as well as the first two-piece set or even the pajama set it was pretty tight around the bust area as well as the arms the pajamas were also kind of tight around the bum and so it just i was like maybe i could have gone with a large in this outfit it just seems like this outfit was a smaller Fit. I'm also not quite sure what the vision was for the feel of the material. Again, kind of like those pajamas, it was given like trying to go silk, but not fully. So 
I'm also <laughs> I'm just not sure what the vision was with this outfit as far as the quality of the material. It kind of had like a scratchy feel to it that I wasn't too crazy about. This particular outfit, I'm not sure that your girl would be wearing this one. My next outfit was another two-piece Faith set in the color red. And so this is the shirt. And these are the pants. So it's kind of like a multi-print set. So this outfit was actually my favorite outfit. I think of all of the two-piece sets, it fit really well. It feels really good. I love the design of it. It is an off the shoulder shirt. And when I first picked it up, I was like, why is this neckline so wide? Like, did I get a large? But it's off the shoulder, so you might wear a strapless bra with it. And it just feels amazing. It fits amazing. This is definitely a keeper. And the Faith sets are $15.49 a piece. So $15.49, $15. .49, $15. 49. So the next clothing item that I got from Timu was the button decor asymmetrical hem sweater. So this sweater was also another favorite of mine. It is a thinner sweater, so it's not very thick. I absolutely love the color. I love the design of it, the asymmetrical cut that it has. It feels really good. It fits really well. So this sweater is $9.49. I also wanted to mention from the first two pieces that I showed you guys, the color block two piece set, it does have a smaller uh, neckline. And I was concerned about that as far as like it fitting over my hair and makeup and all that good stuff, but it actually stretches out pretty wide. So I was actually able to stretch out the shirts so that I was able to comfortably um, fit them over my head as well as my face. They stretch out really well. Okay guys, I also couldn't forget about the women's crossbody chest bag. It has three pouches. Let me go back and show you guys um, how deep the first pouch is. It's pretty big. My first impression of this bag is it's super cute. As I said in the previous clip, y'all, the designs are amazing. They're designers, wonderful work. The feel of the bag, kind of the quality of the material is giving a six on a scale of one to 10. The design is giving a nine, nine to 10. It fits really well. It has this um, adjustable strap here. So it can stretch out, as you can see, pretty wide. The zippers are really good quality. They're very easy to open, they're large. Um, they're, I'm not really getting any snagging with the zippers. And this bag is $7.99. So my overall impression on my Timu clothes, on a scale of one to 10 for the designs, I would definitely give it a 9.5. These designs are fire. Like, they are so dope. I love the designs of these clothes. For the quality of material, we are more in the five to six range on a scale of one to 10. Some of the clothes, the feel is pretty good. Some of it, it's, it's just not giving what it needs to give. As far as the fit of the clothes, I would rate it probably an eight on a scale of one to 10 because that was probably what I was most surprised with was how well the clothes fit me. That was very shocking. I was not expecting that. I just knew I was gonna get these clothes and they were either gonna be too big or too small. So I was pretty shocked to see that um, they fit really well. And I didn't do any measurements, y'all, like how you can measure, you know, bust, waist, hip. I didn't do any of that. I just knew I'm a size medium, I'm gonna go with medium and we'll see. Because everybody doesn't wanna do that. Everybody don't wanna go and get them, you know, measure themselves and all that different kind of stuff. So I was very surprised that I was able to just put in my normal size and everything for the most part, it fit very well. There was really only that one outfit that um, I didn't like the fit. I guess they make that design or that piece of clothing a little bit smaller. So I would go a size up that was on the white uh, Faith two piece set, but everything else fit really well. So I think that Timu clothes are definitely worth a try. Okay guys, so next up we have these fashion sunglasses.
first impression is the lenses feel really thick and sturdy. The, I believe these are called the temples of the glasses. These, um, they feel very cheap. So we'll just go ahead and say that. These do not feel like they will last a long time. Also, when I'm opening them up, it's a little, you know, tight. And I don't know if that's to try to, you know, keep them from um, popping off or breaking, but they're a little difficult to open. So, I mean, they feel like your normal sunglasses. Um, I'm sure I'll wear them and keep them for as long as they last. I think that they're pretty. Again, the designers are amazing. So, these sunglasses are $2.89. So, under the home items, the first item that I got was this massage gun. You open it up and this is how it comes. Okay, so the massage gun has an automatic transmission, adjustable intensity, USB rechargeable, four massage heads, noise reduction radio, and long-term battery life. So pulling it out, the gun piece is very heavy, very heavy, um, which for me is giving quality. You have the ball for large muscle groups, the U-head for the vertebrae, the small round head for joints, and the small flat head for all parts of the body. Here is the rechargeable cord, and this goes into the back, and it comes with a manual for all of your instructions. So this massage gun is $10.09, so let's give it a test. The power button is back here, it's just a touch to turn it on. I think you hold it, and yeah, there it is. And you can go up on the intensity, Okay, it also goes up on intensity if you just press it down, if you guys can hear that. <laughs> okay, it's giving. So, it can go light. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, and you will just hold it to turn it off. So first impression of the massage gun. So y'all, my best friend came over to my house to spend the night a couple weeks ago, and I told her to bring her massage gun. I totally forgot that I was getting one of these from Timu, and I can honestly say I feel no difference. It, it's same intensity, same, I feel no difference, and this one is $10.09. So next under home, I got the Car Headlight Polishing Agent. It is 30 milliliters. It does come with a spray nozzle that you will remove the top and put this in. The price is $1.99. Okay, y'all, first of all, these instructions, like I don't know who can read this, but clean the headlight. Stick protective tape around the headlights. Get the tools ready. According to the sandpaper. Okay, so next you're gonna sandpaper your headlights and then I think you can pour this on your headlights or you can spray it on and wipe it evenly. Y'all, I don't really mess with my headlights. Uh, to be honest, my dad fixes my headlights whenever I need it and if my dad can't do it, I'll just have my boyfriend do it. So. <laughs> I'm not really gonna be using this, at least personally, but if you need some headlight repair, $1.99. Okay, so the next home item I got was a glow-in-the-dark remote cover for Roku TV remote control. I don't have a Roku. I actually got it thinking that it would fit my remote because my remote is pretty small, but it actually doesn't fit mine. So there you go. So your remote control would need to roughly be about five and a half inches long and about an inch and a half wide to fit in this. It does glow in the dark. I just took it into the kitchen with the lights off and it does glow in the dark. The material feels really nice. It feels like your typical silicone remote control cover and the price of the remote control cover is 99 cents. The last item that I got for the home category is a car dust removal wiper so it's for the inside of your car i have actually never had one of these before so i have no prior knowledge of what it's supposed to feel like but it's very soft very very soft it gives a brush feel it has this handle at the back 
My car is silver, so I did get the gray color and I'm excited to try it out. And this brush is $2.52. I hope that you are enjoying the video thus far. If so, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have bought any of similar items from Timu and what your experience is. If you haven't, what would you buy? For the remainder of this video, we have the stationary budget and business products. And I am going to switch to the overhead view for us to look at those products. Okay, y'all, so for the budget products, first up, we have the one piece budget planner. Get your finances organized and managed effectively. This is size A5, it is undated. The paper is 100 GSM and the price is $3.60. So we open up the notebook and it has the personal information page. It has some dot pages and it gets into your budget. So over here you have your month and year, your goal for the month, the checklist, your income amounts, your savings amounts, and an undated calendar. On the right side over here is the actual budget with all of your housing expenses, food, health, transportation, personal loan entertainment and any additional expenses and then you have your totals here at the bottom what did you budget what was your actual and what was the difference after this page we have one two three four four expense trackers and then a debt tracker here at the back one more dot grid page and then it goes into the next month and there are a total of 12 months in this budget planner the next pieces are the budget binder cash system notebooks these range from eight dollars and 49 cents to nine dollars and 49 cents so first up is the sparkly pink one and just off top i can say that the quality of the binder feels really nice it's a pretty nice quality binder. It does have a magnetic close. You have a couple pin loops, a couple card slots. This is um, size A6. The clip is really nice. The binder clamp is really nice. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zipper, A6 zippers. The quality feels pretty good. I would say what we're probably used to here in the budget community, it feels pretty good. You get some labels here with different categories on it that you can put on your zipper envelopes. It comes with some budget sheets in different colors. Actually not exactly sure what these are for, I'm thinking maybe you can put them on here and write a different category other than what is given to you um, with the sticker labels, but I'm not completely 100% sure. Next up, I have the Multicolor A6 Cash Envelope System Binder. And this binder doesn't feel as good of quality as the pink glitter one, but it's still not bad. You can kind of see over here, if you guys can see that, that the rings are making some indentions over here. Um, okay, this binder also comes with budget sheets, um, tracker, expense trackers, I believe, and they're all one color, front and back. There are some paper envelopes. Um, I do not like these at all, y'all. These do not feel like really any type of quality. The designs are cool, like the, the designs are pretty. Like this one, this one's beautiful. But the quality, I don't really do paper envelopes like this. So, you know, this could be a standard feel for them, but it just feels very thin, very, um, like they just wouldn't last very long. But I guess if you keep them protected in your binder, it should be okay. The binder clamp is good. So let's get these in here. Next up, we have some more zipper envelopes. It comes with three, four, five, and six. The zipper quality is pretty good, pretty standard for what I would say we're used to in the budget community. You have a couple of probably deco stickers here. These are cute. And this binder comes with a pin. So you twist it up like that. Let's give it a pen test. 
Okay, writes really smooth. Well, I like this pen, y'all. It's a very smooth write. Today is April, I think the 10th. I'm not getting any um, like unsmooth writing. So I'd say this is a nice pen. Next up, we have the purple binder, similar to the pink glitter one. And the quality is pretty, I guess it's pretty standard. So I would rate the pink one the highest quality. This one second and then the blue one third. So this binder actually comes with eight zippers. And these zippers actually feel a little bit differently from the last two binders. It has more of a matte feel, I guess, to these zippers or maybe the other zippers had more of a glossy feel to them. Um, but the zipper quality is pretty good. You have your multicolor budget sheets that are front and back. And again, some of the sticker labels that you can put on your envelopes. Okay, next up we have the 100 envelope saving challenge binder. This is giving a five size. It comes with a tracker, so you would be saving a total of $5,050. And it comes with your money slots which these remind me, y'all remember like when your family used to have photo albums and you had your little pictures in, in the photo album? That's what this reminds me of. Um, okay, so impression, they feel very cheap. Very cheap, very, um, very cheap quality. So the binder itself is a good quality. The binder feels very nice, very thick, very sturdy. Um, the magnet is good as well, but the money slots are not giving. It's giving cheap. <laughs> um, but this is your 100 envelope saving challenge binder. And the cost of this binder is $1.91. So it kind of explains, you know, the cheap feel of the insides. It's only $2.00 and hey, you get what you pay for. Okay, so the next few items will be stationary, and this is the six-piece multicolor gel pen highlighter type of situation. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I thought that they were highlighters, but they are actually pens, so we'll go ahead and test them out. I did have to go through and take some of the red clay off, and I wasn't able to get all of it off, but enough to write. So this is your like tan color. I don't even know if I will be able to see this one. Oh, okay. So this is your pink color. The right is really nice, it's really smooth. This is a blue. So it's like a gel pen, like a, in pastel colors. This is your purple. but they, they write pretty well. I think these write better than the last set of pens I got from Timu. They started out writing well and then they didn't, <laughs> they didn't follow through y'all. But I think with these being like a gel type of ink, um, they probably will hold up better. Okay, so these are the pens. They are $2.49 and then they also come with some refillable ink. And next up we have an A6 mini size spiral password keeper book with alphabetic tabs and this is $4.49. So I've never had one of these and I've always wanted one. So I went ahead and purchased it. So you have the name, the address. Um, oh, this is for you, your name, your address city, state, zip, phone, email, and any kind of notes. And then for your family and friends, their names, their phone numbers, their notes. And then you have accounts. So you would put your accounts in alphabetical order and then you would put um, the username and password and even like the note or the hint or the um, secret question that sometimes you'll get asked to gain access to your account again and it is in alphabetical order. And let's go to the back. Oh, okay, cool. So at the back you have some emergency contacts, your police department, your local um, hospital, electrician, your neighbors, doctor, 
then you have your Wi-Fi password, operating system information, your internet service, your email, special days, birthdays, anniversaries, and some note pages. And the rest is note pages. Okay, next up we have a to-do list notebook. It is an undated daily planner, has 32 pages, and the paper is 120 GMS. The price of this is $3.99, so it does come with kind of like a plastic protector at the top. And then you have today, a couple of to-do list um, lines and blocks here, the date, your top priorities for tomorrow, don't forget, and your notes. The paper feels good quality. I do wish that maybe the coils came to the edges. I'm not sure that I like this extra space on the sides. I did notice that I didn't, I also didn't really like this back piece. Um, it just doesn't feel very protective to me. But if you're keeping this on your desk and it's not going anywhere, you should be fine. I don't think this is a notepad you would carry around with you. Next up, we have a transparent large capacity plastic pin case. And this is $1.99. Again, y'all, you get what you pay for. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> Just being completely honest. I, I don't know. I don't know if I don't like the fact that it's like, you gotta do them I don't know what it is I just don't really like it um, the quality doesn't feel that great the the open and close system or mechanism I think is what I don't like about it like I don't I don't know like I don't like that I wish they maybe just had one here instead of two um, because for me it feels like it could break and that's why I don't I don't really care for this container doesn't mean I won't use it. I still might end up using it, but it's not my favorite. Next up, we have the meal planner pad, and this is 5.6 by 8.5 inches. It is 90 sheets, and this is for weekly meal planning. The cost of this is $1.88. I actually desperately need a meal planner in my life. I desperately need something like this for me to be able to plan out my meals for the week, for me to get my grocery list together, and it's definitely enough space if you wanted to put like a couple meals, even two or three meals per block as far as what you want to eat for the week. It doesn't have like a place for recipes and the pages are front and back. It also doesn't come with any type of like protective plastic cover in the front. I wish that it did, but the paper is really nice quality. Again, I wish the coils came all the way to the end. That's just my personal preference because as you guys can see how the edges kind of are bending and I feel like if there was a coil, it, I feel like if the coil came from end to end, this wouldn't be happening. So I think that's just, you know, me being a little, a little picky, but the, the paper, it, it has a nice feel to it. Okay y'all, so the last few items will be some business items. So if you are a fellow business owner, these might interest you. My business is almost four years old. I've had my shops for over three years now. These are some staple products that I use in my shop. So I wanted to see what the quality was like from Timu. So first up, we have the four by six um, shipping label sheets. And to be completely honest with you guys, they feel very similar quality. I am really not seeing any major differences here. It comes with a total of 500 and this is $11 and four cents. Based on the feel of them, I'm not seeing a difference. Next up, I have these cute round thank you stickers and this also includes 500. This is $1.80. So the quality of the sticker feels really nice. I love this pink and gold together. And for 500 stickers for only a dollar and some change, I think that is a phenomenal price and a, a great deal. So I am noticing that when I try to add the sticker back to the sticker paper is not sticking very well. 
So I don't know if it's because I peeled it up or if <laughs> you get one good stick out of it, but I was having some issues trying to stick it back. So maybe the quality is not as great as if, like the sticker itself feels good, but maybe the adhesive is not, cause see, I'm not even really peeling them and yet they're coming up. So may have to watch out for that. And the last item that I got was a thank you for your order sticker. So these come with a total of 125 stickers and this is $1.79, which is a big difference from 125 and 500 and they both run a dollar and some change, big difference. Nice glossy paper. Um, so it's a glossy feel to it, feels really nice. And let's try to stick it back and see what happens. Yeah, these, okay, so these are better quality. So even though these are about the same price and you get a lot more in these, these are a better quality um, adhesive. So that is going to conclude my Timu haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, and want to let us know about your own personal experience with any of these items or similar items from Timu, I would love to hear about them in the comments. Don't forget guys, there's a link to everything that you saw today in the description box, and you can use my code for some additional perks. Download that Timu app. If you're like me and your list of people that you have to buy gifts for is forever expanding, Timu is a great place to get a lot for a little. I will probably be buying all of my Christmas gifts on Timu this year. And I look forward to telling y'all about it. So go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing, leave me a comment down below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.